Prime Minister Albanese said there's been a rise in anti-Semitism and Islam Islamophobia that we need to promote social cohesion. As a secondary school teacher, I have noticed an increase in not only anti-Semitism within the classroom, but a desire to side with political ideologies purely based on religion at hand, rather than understanding what the issue or cause is about. How do we educate children around the idea that associating a particular religion as a majority is incorrect and shift the focus on understanding that extremist views and dictatorship can be found in any religion, person or entity? Michelle, I just want to find out, like, obviously you've worked with young people and observed this. What have you observed that's so concerning to you? Um, well, basically around my question, so people, uh, sorry, students are just basing um, a religion and a stereotype. So, you know, um, you know, they refer to people just as Jews or Muslims. Um, it's, it, and you have to explain to them that it's a religion, that's not people, OK? They need to understand that um, not all of these, you know, countries believe in the same thing or all these religions believe in the same thing. It's their political ideologies, they're part of dictatorships um, that are mimicking things from the past and that um, in any religion or any place in the world or any city, any suburb, um, you know, extremist views can be found anywhere. And are they being radicalised online? Is there something you've observed? Because as you know, that's a big discussion at the moment. Definitely. So, um, you know, we were talking before about, um, you know, having to switch off. Students don't switch off in the class. Even though they have, you know, a mobile phone policy, um, they have their laptops. They can access TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat on a web browser. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, that old yeah. people thought, we'll take the phones and no. there'll be no TikTok. <laughs> it's hilarious that old yeah. people are in charge. Yeah. Because they get on it, get it anywhere. Oh, it does, yeah. You can see it, you can hear it. You see them switching, you know, slides or, you know, um, control tab. And you think <laughs> and you think extremist content is being seen by young people? Of course. I mean, um, you know, um, one particular issue the ABC reported about was Andrew Tate's, you know, um, misogynistic views, OK? And um, that's something that's spoken a lot in classrooms, especially by, you know, young boys. And we've also seen in the media recently um, that's come about as well, with um, one of the schools in Yarra Valley being um, pinpointed just yesterday. Yeah. Um, really important topic, thank you. Uh, Paul Fletcher, if I could just get you on that, because you've been, like, have coming up with some ideas around the online treatment of this. Do we have to be tougher regulators to, to stop young people being radicalised, whether it's misogyny or, you know, Islamist extremism or whatever it might be? When we were in government, um, we uh, had a series of things that we did. We introduced the eSafety Commissioner. Um, we... Uh, introduced um, laws against so-called revenge porn, which is a, a terrible and very unfair term. Um, and we introduced the Online Safety Act in 2021, which brought together a number of the powers that already existed. So the eSafety Commissioner plays a very important role. The principle must be that the rule of law has to apply online as well as offline. And do we need tougher laws online? Well, you know, um, there are very significant powers that the eSafety Commissioner has. So, for example, um, she can issue an order in relation to uh, violent content, so-called Class 1 content, or the equivalent if it was, say, a, a movie, something that would be given a refused classification for extreme violence. Uh, right now, of course, she's issued one of those orders against uh, X, formerly Twitter, um, and that's going to be tested in the court. The next court hearing is on Friday. So um, I'd argue that there are pretty extensive powers that she's got, uh, some of these are in early days of being exercised and so the court process will test um, the validity of those powers and the particular And if we fail, do we need to beef them up? Well, uh, let's see how it plays out first. Well, you'd like us to win? <laughs> we certainly back the Safety Commission. Yep. We established that office. We think Julian McGrath is doing a good job. But some on your side say it's gone, there's too much attacks on freedom of speech. That's not your view? Uh, no. Um, you do need to carefully balance up freedom of speech and we were very careful in the drafting of the Online Safety Act and I believe um, uh, that the powers that are there are important and the key principle is uh, if we have a regime as we do to regulate the kind of content that you can see in movies or on television and certain material which is so violent or so sexually mm. explicit that uh, offends community standards, is rated R or is rated X or is rated refused classification. We can't just say, oh, well, 
on the internet, we won't worry about any of that. that that's not acceptable. Now, how you achieve that yeah. has been hard work for governments over quite a few years, because the internet exploded out of nowhere in the 90s, and very quickly you had a billion and then several billion people on it. But governments have been slowly catching up, and the Australian Online Safety Act is part of that. OK, and you... Just a quick answer on this. Do you want to get to a bipartisan position to try and deal with some of these issues? Oh, I... I, I... Don't take issue with what what Paul just went through. I mean, the uh, the, the challenge is exactly what 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 Paul just said at the end there, which is you are you are technology will always move faster than legislation. Well, um, and yes. the 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 end point here is you know for a whole lot of these uh, different forms of horrific content, it's not just do you want to get make sure that you don't have young eyes in particular on them or any for some of the content. Um, but how do you do that? So there's trials that we're now running. Um, but, yeah, that it's a race, it's, but it's important. It's really important.